Uh, still speaking with our guest here in the studio, uh, we were talking about um, the matter of exploring alternative sources of energy. And uh, we have these resources. And the question has been, why haven't we explored over the years these resources that we have? What is the challenge? I think, you see, one of the challenges is uh, you have to back most of these things with law. Nobody will just bring in money and say now because there's wind in Nigeria, I want to have a wind energy farm and, and stuff like that. You have to back it up with the law. People want to always have, investors want to, you know, tap into this kind of situation wherever I say this is a new ground. But what law backs it? Can I take my money out? Can I invest and get return on investment? How many years will it take me to really, you know, get my money back? And uh, what happened politically and whichever way? So these are the things that, number one, is the concern you know, the rule of law and all other things that will come up, you know. So now, uh, looking at alternative sources of energy, the generators <laughs> are not uh, alternative. If they are not good alternative, let me put it that way. They are not a good alternative. They pollute the air and they destroy uh, our system. You know, uh, like I said, you know, when you have wind energy, it is not everywhere you can place the wind uh, uh, farm or you can establish this wind farm, maybe. But then we have enough. We are blessed with all these resources. Right. You know, and, uh, you know, one is just wondering why are we not doing it? And the political will. People have to be, you know, uh, they have to be selfless. I don't know what is wrong with us sometimes. You know, when you, you feel great, when you are the only one who can put on your gen, immediately there is no lie, and the gen is disturbing your neighbors, you don't care. And then probably your gen can even power about three or four houses, but you are the only one. I mean, everybody should recognize you. There's something senseless about this. You know, you know we are living sometimes, I see, it is not, you are not a low, you are not a big man, you are a useless man. You know, if I that is... Words, please. <laughs> yes, sorry about that. You know, but you, you see, but, you know, that is the world. You know, sometimes we are very political, we are very, you know, uh, you know but we have to say this sometimes the way it is, you know, because what stops a man that goes around the world? These people, they right. have traveled around the world. Mm -hmm. Most of them, they've been to Netherlands. They see the farms on the highway. I mean, put it on the highway. Let us have this thing in Nigeria. They say, ah, this thing is fine, this is nice. And you come back to Nigeria, you simply believe you have to buy your diesel. I mean, why do you go on retreat? What do you discuss on your retreat, in your retreat? Why do you travel around to see all these things? And you keep your wife and children abroad, and you, you, you are living well here? No, until we begin to speak the truth. And you see, the truth is hard to understand and to say, right? But the fun is this. Most people will never have the opportunity to step at the airport. Yes but they want to have a good life. Mm. Do you think all uh, Germans, they travel out of Germany? No. Not all Germans travel out of Germany. Not all Germans can read and write. No. But because they are fundamental, they speak their mother, they, they, they are mother, uh, mother they speak tongue. the lang language of their mother tongue. 